Hi guys, it's Alpha Larray with Divine Goddess Healing. I hope you all are doing well. Um, there's a lot going on energetically right now. And I think for the feminine collective, if you're on the twin flame journey, these this is a time where we are being tested. Um, we've learned a lot of lessons up until now. If you've been on this journey for quite some time, like myself, you know, almost four years, um, you may be getting certain doubts or you're seeing things that are triggering you um, in regards to your, your twin flame, your masculine counterpart. And it's like making you think the worst. And I think what's happening is we're really being called to, um, to overcome our mental fears because that's going to block our union. And you have to understand at this point that whatever you, whatever belief system you attach yourself to, it's going to be mirrored back to you. So even if it's not even true what you think is happening or how, it's, um, you're still going to see it that way, even if it's an illusion. And I see this all the time when dealing with people that, you know, have neuroses or are considered narcissistic um, or, or consider themselves a victim and other, other people narcissists. We all see in other people parts of ourselves. So whether we want to recognize it or not, we're actually projecting a part of ourself onto this person, this judgment. And we're really, I think we're giving, this is an opportunity for us to overcome that mental fear and to not act on it. Um, I had a strange dream this morning about my twin flame. And of course it's, you know, immediately when I woke up, I'm like, oh, like, I would just be devastated if it happened. <laughs> like it was really bad. But then I went back and I thought, now what planted that seed in my mind to make me think that my twin would do this? And of course he's been kind of distant. He's pulled away a little bit. And what do I do? I immediately subconsciously think that because of that, you you take it personal and you take it um you you take it as rejection and a lot of times that's not the case um when you are actually in your twin's presence what feeling do you have when you're with that person with your twin unconditional love and how do you think they see you? They see you as beautiful. They see you as perfect. That's the feeling that they give you when you're with them. So there's something in you that has to be overcome. When you're away from this person, you have to overcome your fears of abandonment. And we are grown, like we're grown people. This should not be so difficult, okay? And it it is, it is. It, and it doesn't have to be, but you know, it's your journey. And this is what your, this is what your soul has chosen to experience, to grow from. And this is an opportunity and it's a wonderful, beautiful opportunity because you have every, chance of healing everything on your timeline that has separated you and your twin time after time you know um we've had opportunities to be with our twins 
probably in every lifetime. I personally believe that. And depending on, you know, how much damage there is. But, you know, I believe through love everything is possible. And this, you know, um, if you believe in reincarnation, if you are a good person, you come back the next life and it's easier and you're more blessed. You maybe are really wealthy or you're really beautiful or, you know, whatever. Um, but if you do a lot of bad things or if you make a lot of the wrong choices, you come back and you have more to overcome. And at this point, especially on this journey, I think we're all kind of in the same boat. <laughs> especially if you're re if you're watching my readings, we're probably kind of on a similar timeline in regards to our twin flame journeys. You know, I still consider myself in union with my twin, even though we're not in a um, labeled relationship. We're not together. We have a very deep bond and a friendship and we allow each other space and when we come together it's peace and harmony and joy and we you know really share in in the love and abundance of that and the more that we can resonate at that frequency on our own the more closer our connection becomes the more obstacles you overcome that are in the way of your journey your connection the more energetic obstacles are gone and you both can come together more easily this is what's happening in this lifetime is we have most likely failed lifetime after lifetime because of fear, because of our thoughts, our doubts, our illusions to this love. The only thing that is that resonates on a true heart frequency that is just like yours. You know, this person is literally the only person in the universe with your exact core frequency beyond the wounds beyond ego and you know I know me being a Capricorn and a life path number nine I am here to do some serious karmic work and I accept that I um, you know, I am very empowered. I have a big ego. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I've had to really learn the, you know, that ego and spirit, there is no separation between the two. It is just what we perceive as separation. But when you can really integrate all parts of yourself, you're empowering yourself. You're living in your soul purpose. And I know that I am here to do a really big job to not only manifest Twin Flame Union on a deeper level in this life and to keep it but I know I'm here to guide you as well. If you resonate with this, with my readings, with what I'm saying, if it feels like I'm talking to you, I am. And you know, you're probably just as powerful as me. You're probably just as determined. You probably know exactly what you're here to do. And that remembrance will keep you from letting yourself dig your own holes okay 
when you can think back on the times when you have left this connection or caved into your fears and decided to put this person out of your life or confront this person in a way that, you know, you're rejecting them before they reject you or because you perceive that they rejected you. You look back and you realize that if you hadn't done that thing, things probably would have been okay. And so a lot of times on this journey, all we really need is patience. And, you know, a lot of times that's the hardest thing is, is to have patience with yourself and with your partner, with situations. But trust that the karmic work that you are clearing right now, it's so much that by the time you're done, nothing will be able to break you apart. That's how powerful these union energies are. And there's 1111 right now on that on my phone. So, like I said, nothing will be able to break you guys apart. Your twin flame is going to be so deeply bonded and connected to you from a pure place of love that and and the trust that you guys have built through your ups and downs you know everything is for a reason so even when you did fuck up and you your you your twin forgave you or you forgave them you guys learn a lesson through that you learn how dedicated you are to each other no matter how hard it gets your twin flame is the one person that is always going to be there and, you know, that just deepens that bond even more. So I really just wanted to get on here really quick to, to give you that boost of inspiration to know that you are the goddess, that you know you are deep down, that I see it, that others see it, what you feel and what you see when you look in the mirror, you know, that is who you really are. And that is who you are becoming more of, your true self. And you are divine, you are powerful, nothing can stand against you. And, you know, we have a lot of heavy energies that are gonna be taking place over the summer, over the next month. And, you know, one thing that a lot of teachers will not tell you that um, they probably just don't know is astrology. Even though I do tarot and I believe in astrology, I don't focus my energy too much on it because you are pulling your energy away from yourself. You become locked in a cycle of fear of program a program of fear and you let the idea of these outside energies influence your heart rate your mind you're you're giving it too much power and what you don't realize is you don't have to look outside of you you don't have to watch you know the astrology and keep up with every retrograde when you do that, you're putting yourself in panic mode because you're thinking that you have to get yourself prepared for something, but you're really putting yourself in a state of resistance. Your body gets tense. That is not flow. And you really need to understand that, that the universe, the planets are conspiring because of the frequencies that the earth is letting off and the earth is a reflection of you and when you can take control of your energy and hone it in and stay centered and stay the goddess that you know you are confident faithful and trusting and focused on your own shit your own business and knowing that what is your birthright is coming to you in divine timing that overcomes 
anything, any planetary alignment, any retrograde, they begin to work in your favor and not against you. You don't have to prepare for any of it. You notice that the people that, they're, that are most affected by full moons are crazy people, right? <laughs> so let's think about that. When you stop focusing on things to be worked up about and to be afraid of, when you literally center yourself in the moment and enjoy this life, everything works in your favor, even the retrogrades, even all the planets, you align that shit. That shit aligns to you, not the other way around, okay? And if it is happening, it's happening for your highest good. So there's nothing that you have to worry about. Nothing, literally. Unless if it's just to get you to overcome your own blocks of fear. Okay? So I just really want you to understand that. And, you know, if you're sitting here watching this with me, you are in a very good place because I am in abundance. I am literally creating the life of my dreams every day. It's evolving. Things are transforming. I am very, you know, connected to the fiery solar energies and I am using it to my advantage. I am quick to recognize when I feel stuck or in a certain energy that's being reflected to me, I'm able to center myself and to really quickly look at how, how, what am, what energy am I giving off right now? So, um, just really stick to it guys, cause you are on the right path. You are right where you're meant to be. And you know, union is here and it's shaping and molding more and more every day. But you know, practice makes perfect and that's what this journey is all about is you know overcoming the illusions and the neuroses healing all of that and trusting your inner guidance and trusting your worth and and how much you are truly loved and that you are here for a reason a big reason especially on this journey. So I just really want to commend you for not giving up, you know, and even if you felt like you have wanted to, and you felt like you failed time and time again, you're here right now with me today. And it's such a blessing. And I know you can do it. You deserve to be loved. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Have a great day. Bye.